between homeowners and their HOAs. Consumer Watch Julie Watts, Consumer Watch reporter Julie Watts, on what you could call the gray area when it comes to fake turf. And then from here to here is going to be low-growing juniper. Ed Pereira never thought trying to save water would be so trying. Last month, he decided to take out his front lawn and put in drought-tolerant landscaping. But he says his homeowners association isn't making it easy. They came back and said that there was too much rock. The HOA rejected his first application, then told him any plan would have to include at least 25% grass, either real or artificial. But Pereira has a problem with both, and he's not alone. It's kind of the equivalent of paving over your yard and painting it green. Some environmental groups, like the Audubon Society, cite turf concerns ranging from carcinogens and chemicals to climate change. But Pereira says he just doesn't like it. And with current water restrictions, real grass isn't an option either. Basically, they're asking me to put in lawn so I could let it die. The HOA is now threatening fines of $100 a day if he doesn't comply. It's a variety of mint. A familiar story all over California. Fran Paxton got similar threats from her HOA last year. These kind of rules, um, they have to change with the times. Real estate attorney Michael Mao says a new state law now forbids HOAs from penalizing homeowners with brown lawns or for replacing their lawns with drought tolerant plants. But he says requiring fake turf is still a gray area. Being fined for doing the right thing uh, is something that he could challenge. But legally speaking, he suspects Pereira is on solid ground. Well, I, have, I had a number of neighbors come around here saying, I hope you, I hope you win because we'd like to change our yards as well. And just yesterday, he found out he did win. After we got involved, the HOA notified Pereira that it's going to relax that 25% grass rule, at least temporarily. And we should note, the Synthetic Turf Council insists that the artificial turf is absolutely safe. And if you have a consumer problem, email us, consumerwatch at cbssf.com.